Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a spooky book review of something that I read on my Kindle, which is The Exorcist House by Nick Roberts. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. A little bit about the plot of The Exorcist House by Nick Roberts. When Daniel, his expecting wife, and his daughter buy a farm out in West Virginia, their happy lives turn into hell on earth, especially when an entity starts coming out of the basement and a mysterious chest full of the exorcist's secrets emerges. Soon, Daniel races to stop the evil and save his family. So my thoughts on this book, The Exorcist House by Nick Roberts. Wow. First off, the introduction that he gives you really hooks you in. And the great thing about it is it had a good follow through. It didn't just all of a sudden slow down. The pace really kept its momentum, which I loved. It had definitely had seriously spooky tones, especially with the demonic element and the exorcists having lived in their home definitely had spooks. Also, it had solid graphic and really scary sequences and scenes. This book is not for the faint of heart. It got to me on a, another level. I myself have an old home that has a trap door that leads to a dirt floor basement that is super creepy. This book made me tiptoe and dash around that trap door for a week straight. I was terrified by this book. It was great. It had a great setting. At first it's idyllic, it's beautiful, it's light, it's breezy, and soon when the chaos ensues, it becomes a creepy atmosphere for sure. Also, I loved the nostalgia of the 90s setting as well. Like, I'm a 90s kid. The fact that a Walkman was referenced, I was totally into that. So loved the setting, loved the nostalgia, and definitely loved the characters. I found them to be really well developed. And each of them had their own personalities, their own troubles they're dealing with. And I found all of them likable. They're witty, they're funny, and there's so much love between the family that it was just a great, great set of characters for this book. It is a good demonic read. If that is your flavor, then definitely pick up The Exorcist House by Nick Roberts. You will not be disappointed. I loved it. It is my first read by this author, and I am definitely going to buy some more from him and his works. Totally loved it. So that all being said, my rating is five tails out of five. Loved it. It was great. And I can't wait to read more by Nick Roberts. So if you're looking for something for fall and spooky season to read, I suggest The Exorcist's House by Nick Roberts. Like I said, it won't disappoint. Well, critters, that's all from this Den of Frights. I love and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for being here with me today and watching. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness you being here with me. Thank you again. And until next time, stay cozy, stay spooky. Bye.